people. It's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, Eddie Hearn. Let's talk about Eddie Hearn because he did reveal some interesting news. And before I get into that, you know, fun fact, Eddie Hearn recently unfollowed your boy BT on Instagram because he got his panties in a bunch that I call him out on Joshua Buati trying to leapfrog Gilberto Ramirez to fight Dimitri Bivol, and I guess he didn't like that, so he didn't follow me, so it is, it is what it is, but I just wanted, wanted to throw that out there, but Eddie Hearn, right, he recently revealed that, you know, apparently, they're in negotiations right now to make a fight between his fighter, a guy that I like and I'm a big fan of, the gorilla, John Ryder, take on a fight Haya Munguia. Now, this is, a, this is a match I never considered because for one, because number one, Munguia has yet to campaign at 168, right? He hasn't campaigned at 168, so that's why I never considered it. And number two, you know, I always felt like John Ryder was going to be on the radar for other fighters. But you know what? If Munguia is going up to 168, let, let's first address this elephant in the room before we get to the matchup. A lot of people are already complaining about Munguia going up to 168 because they're saying that he hasn't done anything at 160, okay? But let's be real, all right? Let's be real. The champions at 160, right? Um, the Andres, the Charlos, these guys, they're not really fighting anybody. Now, this doesn't give Munguia a pass because Munguia is, like I've said before, he is the most disgraceful one out of all of them. He's been in witness, witness protection like hell. But Golden Boy has their own plans for him, as I've come to learn through interviewing people within their company. And Jaime Munguia... Um, was never going to fight anybody at 160. And even if, listen, even if Munguia became champion at 160, 160 is, at this moment in time, one of the wackest divisions in boxing. So I think going up to 168 could potentially bode well for him. Now, so far as a John Ryder fight is concerned, I think this is a great step in the right direction because John Ryder is a top fighter at 168. Not, and not, not a champion, but, but you know, if we're, if we're talking about fighters that are not champions, he's one of the top guys out there. You know, a guy South Paul can box a little bit. Um, doesn't have the most uh, uh, aesthetically pleasing style, but very, very good at closing the gap and grinding the opponents down. Very physically strong, um, and I think stylistically it makes for a good fight. Um, and I'm gonna say it like this: Some of y'all may not like this, but you know, on True School Sports, we call a spade a spade. If he, if if he actually goes to fight John Ryder next, that is better than anything. You know, like David Benavidez is doing. David Benavidez, you know, John Ryder is better than David Benavidez's last four opponents. If, if if this fight goes down, so I would I would welcome this fight for Munguia, um, because I do think the fight he can lose. You know, we saw in his last fight he fought Jimmy Kelly, and you know, respect to Jimmy Kelly. You know, through that fight and through some interactions on Instagram, we can say that Jimmy Kelly is a friend of the program. He's a friend of the channel. I like Jimmy Kelly, and I and I, and I hope I really do hope. He has a great rest of his career, and I'll, I'll be rooting for him because, man, he was in his, he was in his bag against Haya Munguia. But this is a guy in Jimmy Kelly who was uh, not really known for being a, a combination puncher, not really known for, for fighting the way he did against Munguia. And he was able to really unload combinations on him, uh, land some good counter punches. Um, and Munguia, although he's strong and he's learning and he's getting better, he still... He still uh, look, he looks very beatable. And then when, now when you factor in a guy like John Ryder, a guy who for one is a southpaw, which is always difficult fighting a southpaw, a guy that can box a little bit, a guy that is very physically strong, that will have no problems going in there, pushing up on Munguia and making things very ugly and physical if need be, and a guy who is a natural 68-pounder, this is a fight that could go horribly wrong for Haim Munguia if it does get made. And, and, and I, I would love this fight, so... You know, my, my, my thoughts and my prayers are with Eddie Hearn and the fine folks at Golden Boy Promotions that they get this fight over the line and they get it done because, let's be real, Golden Boy was never going to put Munguia in there with Demetrius Andre and they weren't going to put him in there with Johnny Beck. Um, I do think they would have put him in there with Jamal, but they were never going to put him in there with Andre. They were never going to put him in there with um, Johnny Beck or any of those kind of guys because um, they already know what the outcome would have been. Now, Jamal Charlo... Bit of a different story. He might have had a, he might have had a chance there because we saw what happened with Montiel. Jamal Charlo had a hard time against Montiel. Munguia is a higher quality than Montiel. He's stronger than Montiel. He's younger than Montiel. 
punches harder than Montiel. So I think I I I just think personally, if they were to fight, they would have fought Jamal Charlo Jaime Munguia would have been a very very pick him fight damn near pick him fight. You know I, I would say you slightly favor Jamal because Jamal is the is the is the better boxer. So yeah, I would say it's like a fifty it's like fifty seven. 43 type of a fight in my opinion that that's how I look at that fight, but um You know Good fight John Ryder, you know, he's looking to get back in the mix He's coming off. A, he's coming off a big win against Daniel Jacobs earlier this year Which a lot of people were complaining in morning saying that he got a get decision Which I don't know how anybody on earth who know who claims to know about boxing can say that John Ryder didn't beat Daniel Jacobs He beat him pretty clearly in my opinion and I think he continues to get shitted on because he doesn't have a style that's aesthetically pleasing, but it's effective and it works for him. And I do think he is one of the better 168 pounders out there. And I think this would be a good fight for him because if he beats Munguia, that's that's another big name on his resume. And then if you, if you beat a Munguia, who's a top you know Mexican name in boxing, you know he may just be used for the Canelo fight that Eddie Hearn keeps talking about. He keeps talking about Eddie uh, Canelo coming to England. I think if Canelo ever does come to England to fight. You're looking at him fighting a guy like John Ryder. So, that's the news. Jaime Munguia, you know, he's, 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 he's taking the witness protection program to a whole other division. He's going from 160 to 168 and uh, looking at potentially fighting a John Ryder. So, um, you know, hopefully, I hope Eddie Hearn ain't bullshitting here because this would be a fight that I'd be very intrigued to watch. This, this, this will actually be the kind of fight where I would really just, like, be over the moon about watching because I think style-wise... It would make for a, a, a good action fight. But uh, let, me know, let me know what you guys think. What do you guys make of, like, Haya Munguia potentially taking on a John Ryder? Uh, really does, it looks like a matchup that could really be very intriguing for boxing and the super middleweight division at large. So, uh, yeah, let me, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Make sure you guys take the time to subscribe because we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers. And I, I need you guys to help me get there. So, please, be, please subscribe. Definitely leave a comment, all that good stuff. And yeah, like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys. Thank you for watching another video on True School Sports, the home of boxing. If you made it this far, do me a favor and do yourself a damn favor. Hit that subscribe button and surely you will not be disappointed. You know, True School Sports bringing you the latest and greatest, the untouchable, you know, boxing content interviews news videos breakdowns live fight reaction extravaganza we've got a great community of, of people here boxing fans all over the world from america to the uk to australia and on and on and on so join the empire today hit that subscribe button take care and god